everyone, welcome to Tang Contemporary Art here in Bangkok. We are located on the second floor of River City, Bangkok. My name is Cynthia and I will be showing you our current exhibition, A Bold Harmony, curated by Michaela Senna, featuring six artists. Let's head on inside so I can show you a bit more about each of the artists. Each artist's work originate from different parts of the world and are influenced by various cultural and historical contexts, but together create an interesting conversation about our current times. Let's take a look at some highlight pieces from the show. So as you enter the gallery, you will first see this piece, which is a highlight of the exhibition, and it is a painting by Armenian artist Rafael Megal. He started painting at the young age of nine and later went on to study at the Yerevan State Academy of Fine Arts. He has received numerous awards as well as exhibited internationally. Most notably, he received the gold medal from the Ministry of Culture, the Republic of Armenia in 2012, and named Honored Artist of the Republic of Armenia in 2013. He has exhibited works also in the Dublin Biennale as well as the Florence Biennale. Rafael Megal is known for his innovative style of drawing, unique perception of line, color sketches, and portrayal of religious iconography, and stylized with ornamental patterns, which reflect Armenian traditional patterns. You will see this as a recurring element in all of his paintings here. His art also references Armenian miniatures, medieval art, Art Nouveau, Art Deco, and modern imitations on canvas of digital art forms. So as we walk over here, we will see two more paintings by Rafael Miguel, and then to my left, we have three paintings by Taiwanese artist Zhang Tengyuan. Zhang Tengyuan hails from Kaohsiung. He has exhibited solo exhibitions in many major cities, including London, Cologne, New York, Tokyo, Osaka, Seoul, as well as his current home, Taipei. His works fuse Eastern and Western elements, which is also one of the major underlying themes of this exhibition. His works reflect doomsday archaeology as the concept, also pulling references from art history. A recurring character in his paintings is the Parrot Man, which is an alien character who has come to Earth to investigate. The reason behind using the parrot is that parrots are able to imitate humans. Through imitating our behaviors in our society, he is able to learn about our human culture and our way of life here on Earth and what could be the patterns thousand years from now, opening us up to different interpretations and possibilities of what the future may hold. So turning around the corner of the gallery here, we have another few paintings by Sophie Yen Bretes. Sophie Yen Bretes is a self-taught artist. Though ethnically Vietnamese, she grew up and currently works in France. After a start in her career in the creative industries, she decided to pursue her passion for art and began creating full-time in 2021. Building upon her signature style of dreamlike surrealist figuration, her works explore issues such as trauma, resilience, identity, sexuality, and empowerment. Her works reflect a condition in a state of recovery represented by what we see in the background as a transitional moment of either a sunrise or sunset. For example, here we have a work which discusses the theme of reflection, the gaze of others, and how memory is a way of validating our identity and existence. We have here a mirror where the subject's eyes are cut off to perhaps show that our perception of our identity and who we are is more important than our own gaze of ourselves. The copy of the painting within the painting itself also shows the stability of our identity once we establish ourselves, even if our memories fade. So turning back around the corner here, in this area, we have three more artists. So over here, first off, we have three paintings by Uji Handoko Eko Suputro, or better known as Hahan. His works blur between realism with decoration, tussling between high art and low art, and exists between urbanization and agrarianism. The painting to my right here was actually painted in 2020 at the peak of the pandemic and also during the rise of digital art market, we see perhaps the idea of the fear of uncertainty of the future during those times. Perhaps we are consumed by that fear represented by the crocodile here. And the concept of digital art is also reflected by the gray grids in the background, resembling the removed background in a PNG file or in Photoshop. Likewise, we have another piece here that not only reflects the digital artwork again, but is also represented by references to online memes and popular culture of this generation. 
So next to Ha Han's works, now we have three more pieces by Filipino contemporary artist. Her name is Tiffany La Fuente. Tiffany's works use humor as a vehicle of storytelling to expose people's pretensions, mischiefs, and vulnerability. In her works, you will see reflected are elements of Filipino, Chinese, and Spanish culture, which are all influential to her community and her upbringing and identity. This piece here, for example, illustrates a boy eating ice cream in a museum, though there is clearly a sign that says no food and drinks. It humorously portrays childlike innocence and rebellious playfulness, questioning whether we should live the life of following and being a part of a herd or to take charge of our destiny and lead the herd by being a trailblazer. The paint added on and splattered on top here was done here in Bangkok before the opening and again reflects the artist's experimental and risk-taking spirit, playing with the concept of creating and destroying, adding and removing to the creation. And last but definitely not least, we have Ray Julian, who is an Indonesian artist based in Bali. Ray left culinary school to pursue his lifelong dream of creating art and picked up his first paintbrush during the pandemic. His works are influenced by his multicultural friends and surroundings, not only reflecting those unique stories, but also his personal experiences. He finds joy in everyday things and people, which can be seen in his compositions and color choices as well. We hope you enjoyed this quick look into this exhibition, which runs until November 30th. As we only took a look at a few pieces, we hope you would come in person to take a closer look at these stunning paintings. If you have any questions or have any special requests for a tour, please feel free to reach out to us and we will be more than happy to share with you. In the meantime, please take care and thank you for joining us.